Hey Tess, uh, just thought I'd record a quick video. Um, so what what you're running into here with the cropping issue is uh, uh, super common. A lot of people have questions about it. I, I think we even did a meeting with the content writers um, a while back, but I don't think you were there. Uh, so so I'll kind of go through the, the key points about how we handle cropping uh, and why, why things might be looking a little weird. Uh, the first question, it seemed like you were adding images and, and you're saying that the top of the images are uh, being displayed uh, and it's kind of cropping to the top. And, and we actually do that on purpose. Uh, and you actually have a really good example of, of why we do that uh, here. And I don't know what happened to the arrows here either. Uh, we like to keep the arrows out so they can... Uh, uh, navigate on the sides there um, but basically what what happens with uh, typical images is the heads will always be at the top usually uh, in the top third uh, and if we don't have the image crop uh, keeping the top and then everything else getting cut off below uh, then their heads get cut off like right in the middle so uh, that's the reason we do it and there's not a way to kind of control it one image over another uh, it's just it's just kind of an all or nothing thing. The other thing we need to consider is how that image will look when we go on mobile. Uh, so in this example, you'll see everything gets cropped off on either side uh, uh, when you're viewing an image. So here and here, uh, that's all gone now. Um, and, and we're cropping to the top. So in those cases where we need the uh, the uh, the the heads in the image uh, then they they fit so there you can see the the head still fits there and the head still fits here so so that's kind of the idea uh, overall on on how the cropping works now I'm gonna open up a document that kind of uh, uh, goes a little bit uh, more in depth we're working on it right now one of the content writers is working on the the text for it uh, but the graphics are really helpful so I'm gonna open that up really quick and pause this video. All right, welcome back. Uh, so here I'll kind of uh, start at the top. This is a document we're going to be sending to our, our customers uh, whenever they have this question because uh, there are a lot of uh, considerations we have uh, when we're handling it. So um, there are multiple ways to handle it. And as you can see here, we have multiple screen sizes we need to consider uh, and, and uh, ratios we need to consider. So there are three common ways to solve this. Uh, the first one is a proportional layout, which means the text and the image and everything shrinks the same. Uh, but the problem is, is everything shrinks and so the text becomes unreadable when you're on mobile. Uh, and so this just won't work. Uh, and it also shrinks the button and all that stuff. So that, that won't work. This is pretty common uh, when people are just creating a quick website. They'll put text in the, the images. And then uh, when they go to mobile, they just want everything to shrink down so the the overall site on the desktop looks the same uh, proportionally uh, on a mobile device um, but it does shrink all the text and, and creates a, a pretty bad user experience plus that text isn't live anymore and Google can't search for it uh, when it's looking for it so we remove that option altogether um, and then the second option is a proportional layout with live text uh, which means that we we keep the image orientation, uh, uh, we keep the ratio, we keep everything uh, correct. So the image will always be displayed at 100%, um, and then we put live text below. Uh, the issue with that is, when, especially when you have a portrait layout of an image, it takes up the entire screen, uh, and the text sits below then. And so we, we don't have an ability to have kind of uh, both on the same screen, which doesn't work. Uh, the solution we go with is uh, 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 displaying the image full width, full height, and then uh, uh, placing the text. The downside with that, um, outside of these two options, with these two options you're viewing the full image all the time. So all the detail, everything in that image is being displayed. With this solution, unfortunately, something has to lose. 
uh, we have to crop the image in order for this to work. And so this is a mobile view, and obviously you can see I'm hovering over this image, and I'll even show you the image if I can click on it enough. Come on, there we go. There it is. So, uh, so there's the image uh, in its full glory. Uh, when you're in a desktop view, uh, you'd probably see this full image, but when we're on mobile, that's all we're going to see. And so we're going to cut off a lot of information because what's really important is the text here on the top. That's, that's what really needs to stand out, and the call to action is probably actually the most important here. So the image, uh, we, we, we're going to sacrifice images uh, in order to keep the content, the, the actual text and call to action, um, visible. So our goal is to always create or select images that, that work that way. So down below here, I have some examples of uh, images that work and, and kind of showing how they would work in uh, different sizes. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so first here we have this image here. Uh, and, and on this side, I'm just going to show the uncropped image. So you can kind of see how this would look. Uh, and then, <coughs> oh man, jeez. Uh, and then next to it, uh, we have all the different crops, how that would crop this image. So this image uh, gets a check mark because uh, it's working on every single device, as you can see. Um, this next image below, uh, I have a caution symbol on it because there are a couple uh, crops that, that lose uh, some extra detail here. So. In this image, we have an overall scene, uh, background scene, and uh, here of, of the mountains, it looks like the coast, and then foreground, we have a couple holding hands. And uh, with every image, uh, the reason we put images up is, is it's kind of a, uh, uh, it adds a, a bit of extra narrative. Uh, it allows for a story. And so what I always tell people is you wanna keep the story there. And so the reason I just give this a caution uh, a piece is because the story works here even though everything is getting cut off so you know we're, we're not seeing fully who these people are anymore in this crop but we see the hand holding we do see the scene and so we understand that this is a couple that loves each other and they're you know looking out over this great scene and, and you know all that stuff so this image still works it's just you know we need to be aware and it's important to then view the site on multiple devices just to make sure the image still works. Here again, this image gets a caution piece because we have this overall scene of this couple cooking uh, dinner or something like that uh, together. Um, and when we look at how it's going to crop, uh, it, it just barely works. And so if, if it cropped any more, this might be an issue. but. Uh, this is probably the most extreme cropping we'd have. Here's an image here. Uh, this is an image we've actually used on a site before, and we, we described this to the client that this, this would create this issue, and, and they didn't care. So at the end of the day, uh, the client's the boss, and if they want an image, uh, and they're willing to sacrifice uh, you know, mobile users uh, to have that image, uh, that's just what we're going to have to do. So here we have this image here, uh, and then this is how it will crop. So in a lot of the versions, it actually looks really good. Here's another one. So this runner, great image. I think this image is very, very solid. It has a, a very fun story, nice narrative to it. Um, but in a couple of crops, it just won't work. Here's this one. Uh, and as you can see here, this, is, this exactly explains why we have to uh, crop everything from the top. So we, we lock the image at the top, and then everything below uh, gets displayed. So that's why we do this, because uh, then all the images would, would, would be stuck at the top. So we kind of set up that slider uh, to be fail-proof. Uh, I want all my sites to be future-proof uh, so my clients can upload images. And in most cases, any images that they add, especially images of people, uh, those will always work on multiple devices because our, our clients do take over the site at some point and then they do uh, change them all out. As you can see, there's a bunch of typos in here. Um, so uh, uh, next here, I'm kind of explaining how to select images, kind of 
a, a tool I use in my mind's eye when I'm looking at an image to, to see if it'll work. So uh, what you kind of do is imagine a, the overall image. So that's what this red is. So this, this is what we call the crop line. This is where we would cut the image, or this is the image in its full size or state. Uh, the purple line represents a mobile view, and so the, the mobile view will get this full purple outline, if that makes sense, uh, within this. So it's going to crop in. So in these images here, you can see you're going to get the top of his head, and you're going to get the bottom here as well. With her, you're going to get the buttons uh, on her shirt here, and then you're going to get the top of her hair in that mobile view. And with this uh, photo of Reno, you're going to get this dark sky here, and you're going to also get this street here too on this mobile view. Um, in desktop landscape, uh, what you're going to end up viewing is everything, uh, this whole piece here. So you're going to get everything from his elbow, and you're going to get this extra pilot here on the other side. Um, with her, you're going to get both her hands and her hair out here, um, but you're not going to get anything past that. So you're not going to get any of that information. Um, and same with this image. You're going to get everything over here, and you're going to get everything over here, but you're not going to get anything up here. You're not going to get anything over here. So if you picture any image, uh, or when you're looking at any image, it's important to kind of imagine these pieces on top of it. So you just kind of use your imagination and just kind of draw a box in the center, and that's kind of your safe zone. And, and it's so important to keep a little space above and below and then on both sides. These are actual uh, uh, screen ratios. Uh, so this is an exact uh, and powerful tool uh, that you can use when you're viewing an image. So here's an example of how you could use an image. So say a client does come to us and they say, I really, really, really want this image. Uh, I, I just, this image is perfect. Um, so how, how would we be able to use this image? Uh, what we'd have to do is, is do a crop uh, in, but in this scenario, it would still have a lot of problems, as you can see. So what we did was we took this image and we kind of cropped it in to allow this, because otherwise, if we were to just upload this image fully, it would look okay in desktop. I mean, you'd really just be getting the top of her hat and things like that, uh, and then the racket, it, it wouldn't work fully. In, in, even in this example, it wouldn't work fully. I'm just trying to show like a very challenging image here because uh, we get images like this all the time from our clients. Uh, and so this image would, would need a lot of uh, uh, work and we'd have to kind of work around it. Honestly, I think I would just scrap this image and, and go find something else because even when we do crop in and we're trying to, to keep the, the important pieces, all we would get in mobile is just her head uh, and, and body, and that's it. We wouldn't have the racket, so the story wouldn't be established here. We wouldn't have a clue what she's actually doing. It just it would look like just some lady kind of hunched over, uh, and that's it. Uh, over here with the desktop view, you would get pieces of that story, uh, so you definitely get the racket, and you would get that kind of stuff. Um, and so it could work in that. Uh, and we do have clients that do come to us and they say, you know, all my traffic is desktop. I have nobody on mobile. And in those cases, you might have a, a little bit extra leeway. Um, but typically, we find most people, uh, most websites need to work on mobile because that's the majority of their traffic. Uh, anyway, so I hope this helps. Uh, it's, it's kind of a long explanation of of what's happening here, but um, that's kind of what we're dealing with. So our goal is for everything to always work. Um, another thing I'm noticing here too is you have these black lines on, on either side of the uh, images. Uh, so what you'll need to do is just kind of crop those lines out so we don't have these lines here uh, on either side. Um, one thing uh, uh, to keep in mind too is uh, with the images, uh, you can just upload the images and Jacqueline will take care of the rest. Uh, she, she's actually paid for that, so uh, if, if you uh, just upload a bunch of images, uh, she's going to actually be the one to go in and, and crop it and line it up. If, if, you wanna, uh, if you have a vision, though, and you want things to look a certain way, uh, we do appreciate you kind of cropping it uh, in that way. There is a tool built into WordPress 
And uh, I don't know if anybody showed this to you. Uh, probably not, because I was I was the person doing it. So if if you do need to edit an image, uh, I'll just edit it from the home page. And so we can go in here to splash area, and then uh, this is the image that had those black bars. So I'm going to remove those. Oh, so we have so it's a square image. So that's going to be a, an issue. Um, but what we can do is edit the image, and this will actually make the image a lot quicker too. And so what I'm going to do is actually crop it. So we're just going to draw this in, and we're going to kind of keep in mind, you know, that story I was telling you about. So we want his head to be in the image. And so I'm going to try to kind of crop it there, because I think what will happen is this will be the desktop view. So we're getting most of the window. We're getting some of his arm. Uh, and then in, in uh, the mobile view, we're going to get this. And so either way, this, this should work. Uh, and I always like to crop it so the image uh, looks good on desktop. Uh, so usually all my images are, are in a landscape mode. Um, so I always crop this way. I always upload images this way because this is going to be the most challenging, uh, especially if it's a smaller image. Blowing it up on a larger screen, uh, uh, we're going to want this to... to look really, really good on that screen. And we don't want any of this extra information up above and below, because that's just extra stuff we need to download uh, uh, when we're trying to view the image. So what I do then is uh, I hit, I think I hit crop. There we go. And then now the black bars are gone. Uh, and then I go here and I hit save. And that will crop the image uh, directly in the software. Uh, no need to uh, download and upload and, and do all that stuff. Uh, and then we can hit update image. Okay, so now this image is updated. So we're going to hit update over here. And then I'm going to go to view page. So we're going to open that again. And then we're going to navigate to that slide. And I'll show you how the, the black bars are now gone. Um, I'm going to turn back on those arrows uh, just because it is handy to navigate through. So there we are. So now that's cropped and it looks perfect. Uh, and then when we go into the mobile view, which is always important, we do have some pieces being cropped off, but his face is there. Uh, in, in, in photography, we always, always, always want the face uh, to be uh, present uh, in that view. So that works. Everything looks good there. So uh, let me see what that other image looks like. So we're going to Look at this. So that looks good. Good orientation. That should work. I'm going to check this one out. Good orientation there. That should work. Good orientation there. So on mobile view, you're just going to have this door here and then the steps, which is totally fine. And then on desktop view, you're going to have just the columns and it's going to be like that. So that's fine. That'll work. And this image works here too. So uh, everything looks to be good here. So um, I'm just going to hit update. Oh, wait, there's one more actually. And that looks great too. So on mobile, you're going to have it look like this. And then on desktop, you're going to have it crop in like that. So excellent. So that's uh, pretty much cropping. Uh, sorry, it's such a long video, but uh, it's, it's kind of a, a deep topic. Uh, uh, that I've had to deal with my entire life uh, in development, actually. Uh, back when I was developing on uh, phones that had uh, uh, 300 pixel widths and and uh, uh, things like that, I was, I was working on original flip phones and, and developing apps for uh, Dilbert and Hallmark and, and uh, uh, Stations Casino and things like that on these tiny little devices. Uh, the iPhone became a thing when I, when I was working at that company. Uh, and since then, it's, it's, it's just been this uphill battle of, of trying to figure out how things can work best on these devices. Uh, remember, the goal is always for the 
uh, text to stand out and the call to action to stand out. The image is really uh, sacrificial. Uh, I, I like images because they, they bring in a, a bunch of extra narrative. Um, and and uh, I, I am a photographer myself, uh, but uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, we need that content, we need that call to action to be out there. Uh, in the images, we just want them to look pretty. Uh, and that's why we tell people to not put text in their image because that text will definitely, definitely get cropped off. Uh, we, we highly, highly recommend uh, to not put anything uh, important in an image because uh, we have to crop them uh, so much. Um, and that's just that's just kind of the nature of the beast working online is, is the images won't look perfect 100% of the time because we need to kind of morph them and change them uh, uh, for whatever uh, layout they're going to be in. So uh, that's kind of everything. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, other than that, have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.